Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 11, let's play Super Mario World 2 plus 3, The Essence Star. Okay, this is Ruins Rampage, it has Crash Bandicoot music, mind you. Of course, I would recognize that track, I LP'd that game months ago. And I've had some requests for Crash Bandicoot 2 already. Almost immediately when I started Bandicoot 1. I tend to get that a lot. But oh well, I mean, it's a fun series. Even though I only played through and beaten one. But you get the idea. It's pretty cool to see, like, Koopas with Spartan hats. It's like, hey, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. This is Sparta! And it was just a small pit of munchers, but... I couldn't find any other pits that I'll have to do. Yeah, lack of Lester. Yo, Mario! Just doing a bit of sightseeing in these ruins. Bring me two cloud pieces, and I'll make your own cloud for ya. Uh, so far I've seen almost every single Paper Mario character. Well, actually probably just half. I've seen Goombario, Lady Bo, Lack of Lester. I'm still missing Paracary, Cooper, and Watt. Sushi. So that's still a far stretch, but we are seeing plenty of Paper Mario characters. Even the bulb bulbs are there. That's a nice touch. I like it. Okay, this is where the first cloud is. Now I gotta get another piece. Where do I find it? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, there's a hole I can kick you down. There. There's a little tribute to 300. Even though I don't think King Leonidas kicked him from that far. Like, the Persian didn't go, like, uh, 8 or 10 feet and then go down the hole. That would be pretty cool, though. Normally, I would tell you to follow the coins, but don't do it. Instead, just go right under here. Eventually, you'll get to another piece of land. That's where the second cloud is. I mean, all you're following with the, um, the coins is just a way to get more coins. That's it. Then you would have just missed out on the secret exit. And we all know that's no good. Unless you like coins and wanted to get the normal exit in the first place. And that's entirely up to you. But I wanted to get the secret first. Otherwise, why would I got those clouds to begin with? Sweet, man! Alright, time to mix these two pieces up and make your own cloud. Just give me a sec, okay, pal? Aw, oh, I wanted a cloud with four eyes and two mouths. Isn't that what I picked up in the first place? <sighs> Whatever. Quit bugging me. And let's get the normal exit here first. I mean, I gotta keep dealing with rhinos and Spartan Koopas, piranha plants, and just a couple fish. That's all. It's not a very long or dangerous level by any means. Oh, and a charging chuck, too. I can just speed run through this if I wanted. Even though I'm kind of slowing down. Well, maybe you can call it a non-TAS run. Let's put it that way. I wouldn't know how to run a tool-assisted speedrun, nor would I want to. I specialize in Let's Plays. I don't need TASs. If you want TASs, you can look them up. That's not my business. Yep, that's where you just go for coins. I want a flower if you really needed it. Come on, let me go down already. Down the hole with you! Woohoo, that was close. That wimp almost got me in the ass. But my ass is still intact. 
Flamethrower Grotto. Well, I wanted to go to a grotto, but that's not the one I had in mind. Huh, it'll have to do. Yep, yeah, now I can see why it's a flamethrower grotto. Seems like every enemy here uses fire. Down to two different piranha plants. And the Fire Brothers, of course. They're to be expected to use fire. Easy. And you just get a free one up, as expected. Hey, you don't use fire! Ooh, that was close. I almost went down the hole. They really should not have put a pit down there. But they did. Hehe. <laughs> Coins! I'll ignore those enemies. Because they're irrelevant to me. I'll take it. Uh oh, it's a fire chomp. And why is that fire still chasing me? That's a very persistent flame. I don't like persistence. Unless it's me. Whoa! Crap. <sighs> Damn it. That was one badass jump. For emphasizing bad. Screw you. Okay, bite the bullet. Okay, I'll go. I'd rather bite the bullet before the bullet bites me. Whoa! Shit, I'm having way too many close calls here. I'm not liking this. But I guess it tests character. Screw that pipe. Oh, there was a 1-Up over here. A Kaizo 1-Up. Who knew? Kaizo blocks that are good for you. Ah, there's a checkpoint. And now I gotta find where that secret exit is. Oh, come on. I grab a flower I didn't need and didn't take a hit on the first enemy I see. God. These bullets are really out for my blood. It's like they want a big piece. Or even the whole thing. I say let them try. The only hit I took here was from a, a bullet bro's foot. So it wasn't from a bullet at all. Yeah. What's over here? Ah, that's King Boo from Super Princess Peach. Mario, I've been waiting for you here. Now that you are able to see me, you are ready to benefit from my gifts. Please come with me. Okay. Well, there's a secret. What is this? Hello, Mario. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Lord Boo, leader of the Boo Clan. I was appointed leader for my powers of omniscience. I am able to discern the truth behind all mysteries. Throughout your journey, I will channel to you the past interactions of two individuals. It's up to you to decipher the true meaning behind them. Feel free to drop by any time to view any interactions I've already channeled to you in their correct order for further clarity. Okay, so in other words, you can go through all those cutscenes you got after you got the Star Shards. Between Kamek and Roth. And you can just press start because you don't need to see the rest of that. Alright, let's go back to bite the bullet and get the normal exit. And hopefully don't get shot in the process. Bad start right there. 
I got a bit too careless for my own good. That's what happens when I rush. You're gonna jump, I know. Whew, that was close. Could've got hit by that boomerang. Yeah! Jumping over Hammer Bros like a boss. Probably a boss that doesn't suck. I prop myself up, and then I get shot in the face. Why does that seem like the story of my life? Now I just have to avoid getting hit. Yeah. Thank you. Crap, it's all going ape shit now. Man, this place got more bullets than a projects. Or than the projects. Mount Eruptus. Eh, I'll go there later. But first, I need to get a secret exit. Let me get a key. Let's see, I definitely got enough money. I can buy three keys. Yet, I would not advise you to do that. That would be a waste of good money. A lot of enemies were killed to make those funds. Damn hiccups. Okay, now let's head back. Uh, that's pretty much the same song I heard earlier. Yep, there are a lot of bugs here. And spiders. There's a lot of everything. Hmm, what's down here? Oh, found the secret exit already. That didn't take too long. Oh, what's over here? Oh, Hammer Bro. Easy. Number 7, Goombario. An energetic young Goomba that can own anyone at the Youth vs. Boo races. Really? He never faced me! I bet you it will not last. And neither did my flower. That sounds like something a teenage girl would say. <coughs> Anyways... Moving on! I'd like to get another flower, thank you. My prayers have been answered. Thank you, Spider-Man. Now... You know, those piranha plants shouldn't really count as bugs. I mean, they're plants, and, well, they're called piranha plants. That's a fish. So it's a fish plant? Maybe it eats bugs. I don't know. I don't usually delve into the diet of piranha plants. Usually they try to either scorch me or eat me. That's the only thing I know about the piranha plants. Apparently their belly buttons are very sensitive. Just ask Petey. Oh, now I'm in the other part of the cave. And buzzy beetles are not bugs on wait, never mind. Beetles are bugs in a way. My mistake. And I guess I won't be getting that hammer. I will be killing some more Super Mario Land creatures, though. I'm getting more coins. I'm killing spiders. And jumping on platforms. Avoiding munchers. 
Uh, I'm gonna go down here. There's something tempting about that place. And now I know why. Eh, that was a short level. Uh, I think I got time for one more. Mario takes flight. Hey, lack of Lester. Mario! If you want to get to that wicked volcano, you'll have to take this helicopter to get over that terrain. Be careful, pal. I don't want a helicopter! I want your cloud! You know, it would have been nice to throw some spinies on them. It's like, I know Mario had a cloud suit in Super Mario Galaxy 2, but he never threw spinies with them. Apparently I can only have like three shots at a time. But thankfully I can shoot whatever I want. This doesn't remind me of Super Mario Land at all. It just doesn't have the Super Mario Land music. I wonder if I'll run into a Tatanga on the way. Nah, I'm sure he's dead. Because I killed him. In fact, I killed him back in January 2009. When I LP'd this game. Well, Super Mario Land I LP'd. He was on hard mode. Because he had to beat the game and then play it again to get hard mode. Good times. I just believe it was so long since I LP'd that game. I actually LP'd that using the keyboard. And then began the era of the controller. That's a good era. I don't understand where all these Gordos are here. Hell, you can even put in some floating jellyfish, I don't care. The Gordos, yeah, they do have a place here, but they're not even Mario enemies. They're Kirby enemies. But oh well, I guess that's what the producer of this hack wanted to go with. So that's that's what you want, that's what you get. Apparently those Gordos have a hard time blinking fully. And they got red eye. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here, and then next part we will do Mount Eruptus, where I can get the fifth and final star shard. Goodbye everyone.